we will proceed to some scientific background informa information uh, and then we will open up for questions. Nobelförsamlingen vid Karolinska institutet har idag beslutat att Nobelpriset i fysiologi eller medicin år 2016 ska tilldelas Yoshinori Osumi för hans upptäckter av mekanismer för autofagi. The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institute has today decided to award the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Yoshinori Usumi for his discoveries on mechanisms for autophagy. So with that, I would like to leave the word to Professor Maria Masucci, who will describe a little bit about the science behind this prize. So please, Maria. Yoshinori Osumi was born in Fukuoka, Japan in 1945. He started the seminal work for which he is awarded the Nobel Prize at Tokyo University and he is currently an emeritus professor at the Tokyo Institute of Technology in Yokohama. This year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine is awarded for discoveries concerning autophagy. The word autophagy is derived from the Greek language and means self-eating, to eat oneself. In the mythology of many ancient human cultures, the self-eating dragon is a symbol of self-reliance and renewal. In the human body, self-eating autophagy is a process by which our cells reduce their own components to release energy and to build new functional parts. Autophagy was first observed in the 1960s, soon after the discovery of the lysosome, an organelle that contains the enzymes used by the cells to disassemble proteins, sugars, and lipids into their reusable building blocks. In addition to the lysosome, scientists observed another quite different type of organelle composed of a double membrane surrounding some cytoplasmic material. They also observed that vesicles appear in the cytoplasm of cells under stress, such as during starvation. The vesicles extended into double membrane that progressively engulfed a portion of the cytoplasm, forming what became known as an autophagosome. The autophagosome, later fused with a lysosome, where the content was broken down by lysosomal enzymes. During the next 30 years, little more became known about autophagy. The mechanism for the process and the significance of autophagy for physiology or disease remained a mystery. The situation started to change in the 1990s where Yoshinori Osumi decided the to study the process of autophagy in baker's yeast. Yeast cells contain a single large lysosome known as the vacuole. Osumi found a clever way to visualize the accumulation of autophagosomes in the vacuole by making starved cells unable to uh, degrade the content of the vacuole. He then used this method to search among thousands of mutants for yeast cells that had lost the capacity to activate autophagy. This ingenious strategy 
led to the discovery that autophagy is regulated by a large number of genes. As many as 15 essential autophagy genes were identified in the first study published in 1993. Having discovered the autophagy genes, uh, Osumi moved on to the next question that was to understand how the products of the genes work together. Thanks to this pioneering work, we have today a detailed understanding of the molecular mechanism of autophagy. Osumi showed that stress signals initiate a cascade of events that through the formation of, of different protein complex control each step in the formation of the autophagosome, from the initial fusion of vesicles to the extension and bending of the membranes at the sequestered the cargo, and finally to the fusion of the autophagosome with the lysosome. Osumi and his colleagues were also the first to identify genes that control autophagy in mammalian cells. This allowed the production of research tools that have transformed autophagy into one of the most intensely studied topics of biomedical research. Thanks to the work of Yoshinori Osumi and many others that followed in his footsteps, we now know that autophagy regulates important physiological function of the cells and that defects of autophagy are associated with many human diseases. For example, autophagy is required for cell differentiation that give rise to the many different types of cells that constitute our body. By recycling part of the cellular content, autophagy allows our body to cope with starvation and with other types of stress. By capturing invading viruses and bacteria, autophagy is essential for the body defense against infection. Through the removal of damaged proteins and organelles, autophagy promotes cell renewal. Failure of autophagy is therefore associated with cell aging and with many diseases of old age, such as Alzheimer's disease and type 2 diabetes. Finally, too much autophagy may have undesired effects, in as for example in cancer, where autophagy can promote the growth of tumor cells and their resistance to anti-cancer drugs. The discoveries made by Yoshinori Osumi have been instrumental in revealing the mechanism and significance of a fundamental physiological process. And there is growing hope that this knowledge will lead to the development of new strategies of many human diseases.